Last time I said that we would dive into the LS motor, uh, and I guess I'll have to say that I lied. Uh, I put this car together 17, 18 years ago, and uh, the first time, and I cut some corners on a few things, and one of the things I need to get straightened out right now. I was underneath the car, uh, I need to pull the gas tank, and uh, do some other things underneath the car, and I noticed that the body mounts are in horrible, horrible shape. Uh, in fact, there's six total, three on each side, and they, uh, oh boy, at least two of them total are totally gone. And I'd say two more are almost gone. They weren't in the best shape 17, 18 years ago. Uh, but, you know, time, money, I didn't bother replacing them. So believe it or not, that's what we're going to do. I've talked to a few people, looked at a few websites on how to do this with um, the limited space and equipment that I have. I think I can do it. My biggest fear is that when I take these things off, that there's not a lot left to bolt new ones onto. Uh, that would be the worst case scenario. But we'll deal with that when we come to it. First thing to do is to try to get these things out. Into the, the cage nut that's in there. Uh, those cage nuts are, um, it's like a nut that's in a, in a housing that's allowed to, allowed to move around. Uh, so it moves, uh, it's got a little bit of movement so you can get everything lined up on the frame. If those start spinning, when you try to take them off from the bottom, you're basically screwed. So what he suggests is to drill a hole about this big above it so that you can get uh, uh, like lubricant, like liquid wrench and stuff in there, maybe some heat to try to loosen those things up. Here is the location of where those body mounts are. It's under here. And uh, I don't know how much I can tell everybody, don't cut corners. It's just going to come back and bite you in the butt. Um, that's what I did here. I knew it was rusty when I put this car together 17 years ago. This is a big fiberglass patch panel. So uh, the body mounts were okay, but I knew it was rusty where it was attached. And now I am paying the price. So the idea is to cut a hole in this, and I think I don't have to take the back carpet out. I can just peel it back so I don't have to take the belts and everything out, um, so that I got access to that cage nut. Um, we'll see how that goes. So what we got here is I tried to clean it up pretty good around um, that body mount bolt. Uh, I'm going to put some heat to that to try to loosen it up um, just something to loosen it up because it's really a mess and then I'm gonna put an impact wrench on it and see if it'll come out well put the vice grips on it to uh, hold that like a big nut and went to go turn the bolt on the bottom and this is what happened well, there we go basically snap the uh, snap the bolt right off which doesn't surprise me this is a almost like a big speed nut. Uh, there's no way that that thing was coming out of there. I don't care how much heat I put into it. It's a mess. So, one body mount off. And I've got some sheet metal repair to do. Time to work on the next one. So this is the passenger side. And now they understand a little bit more how this thing is constructed. Um, this dimple here is right where the head of that bolt is. So I'm going to cut a square hole through this one right here. Uh, this one was not rusted out and I didn't cheat and take a shortcut and just put a fiberglass patch panel over the top of it. Um, so hopefully this one's a little more solid inside. All right, done cutting with my Dremel tool. Let's uh, get this out of here and see what we got underneath. Yikes, not much better than the other one. mess too. So I'm understanding a little bit more how this thing is constructed. I want to cut it open. This one has a little bit more left in it. This piece here is the cage and then this from the other side 
this is the nut itself. So this square rhombus looking thing is actually underneath this cage. And the idea is that that nut, that big square nut thing, can move around, move around to get the body in the right position. That's why this hole is big here. And just this cage is what kind of So the passenger side actually came out uh, like a regular bolt. Uh, this is it here. Um, so all the heat and liquid wrench seem to do the trick. So all that's left in here is that, that cage nut. And uh, although it's loose, um, I'll probably just leave it in there because um, it'll come off the frame. So now on to the ones in the trunk. Got the back bumper off in the process of taking the tank off. One strap is loose and I have cut the gas lines so a matter of taking off the other strap and it'll come down. So the tank is off and now we can actually take a good look at these body mounts. Uh, this is the one on the back right here not in too bad a shape. Um, hopefully no metal work I have to do there. Uh, these, this is the next one. This is in horrible shape. You can see the rubber here. Um, and on the inside, the rubber isn't even there. It's totally gone. Um, but again, hopefully not going to be too much metal work, structural stuff on this side. So like on the inside, what I'm going to do is cut away um, the sheet metal, the non-structural stuff. The one uh, frame or uh, body mount is right here, and the other one is back over here. So I'm going to clean off the paint, the spatter paint, uh, so that um, the idea is I'll cut out a chunk here, get at that cage nut, hopefully save it, and then weld in the piece that I take off will be the plan. Uh, so get going. So I got the two. Uh, the two uh, forward ones cleaned up. Um, this one cleaned up really nice. And this one cleaned up nice, but guess what? Some pretty thin little pieces of metal here. Again, this is just sheet metal. I'm not too worried about that as long as the bottom is good. And then for the ones on the back, kind of see this Sharpie square here. What I did was to try to figure out where that other one was as I drilled a hole, basically right next to it here. There's a drain hole and this brace piece on the back and I went up and that's this hole right there. Um, right there. So then took some measurements over. I think I'm pretty close. I'll do the same on the other side. Get that cleaned up and we'll cut these pieces out. All right, got them all cut out both sides. Um, tell you what, they're rusty, but they look pretty solid. Now this, this stuff here looks solid. Same thing back here. It's rusty, but it looks solid. That one, and then this one too. So next step is to heat these things up and then soak them with some uh, liquid wrench overnight and then hit them with the impact tomorrow so you can get them out. So before I heated them up and then let them cool a little bit and put some liquid wrench on them, uh, let them sit for a while, well, probably two or three hours. Uh, now I heated them back up again and um, can put the impact on them and let's, uh, let's see what happens. Let's do the other, the other three. Let's see how they come out. But that thing, um, that nut, again, floats around in that cage, and that helps you uh, position the body. So yeah, there's nothing wrong with this uh, cage nut, which is awesome. So here's the body mounts. So this is the the rear, and this is that one kind of midway in the trunk. Uh, they all came out 
pretty good that those cage nuts are, are fine nothing twisted out um, obviously putting the heat and stuff on them be able to get at them was a, was a big uh, a big help um, you know these don't look too bad on the back um, you know they're definitely dry rotted they definitely need to be changed but you know look at this one here this one the bolt is almost rusted through there was no washer at all holding this thing on nothing this one here is you know the bolts a little bit better but uh, you know these mounts are just totally shot there's not much left holding the body onto the frame the only uh, body mounts that are left are the two in the front and those are uh, right in here there's one on each side of the front they're loose I will leave those on there until we actually go to take the body up off the frame the other two things that are left are the uh, parking brake cable and then the uh, the gas line that goes from uh, the body where it mounts to the the hard line that goes to the frame 